Hello and welcome to the intermediate infographic from the Interface Project on the topic of work ethic. Throughout this infographic you will learn about motivation in the context of work, productivity, and some techniques you can use to assess and improve your own motivation even for tasks you don't particularly enjoy. All of this will come together to offer a set of tips and guidelines for young employees, like you, hoping to improve their own work ethic. Motivation is often cited as a key value in employees, but it can be a difficult trait to describe properly. In the context of work, motivation is a combination of commitment, creativity, enthusiasm, and energy level. In short, it is a personal component of work ethic, which in turn influences productivity. As part of this chain, motivation relates to employee engagement with the work they do and is linked to optimal performance. One study by Gale in 2017 suggested that motivated employees experience a 43% increase in productivity for example. Placing a value on productivity was a simpler task when most of the world's work revolved around the completion of a physical activity or making a physical product. Nowadays, most developed countries have booming tertiary sectors where the content of a person's job can be quite difficult to define. Measuring productivity, then, can be quite the task how can we hope to compare, for example, an ambulance driver, a consultant, a welder, and an insurance broker. As in all things, it is often best to simplify a problem by taking a step back and weighing up the fundamentals. Seen through this lens, productivity is the value of work completed divided by the time and effort taken to complete it. Peeling back this mathematical equation, we can further simplify it as intention, intensity, and perseverance in one's work. There are a number of tools and techniques we can use to enhance our productivity in work, especially now that a wealth of digital resources is available to both employers and employees. Gamification is one aspect of this and, as the name suggests, describes the process of incorporating game-like elements into a person's work to make tasks more approachable and enjoyable. 89% of employees feel that gamification would improve their productivity from an employee's perspective, you could consider turning your to-do list into some form of challenge and inviting others to do the same. Coming together as a productivity group and setting prizes according to some agreed conditions might make things more enjoyable. Sometimes, however, productivity is simply a consequence of timing. Some people are extremely active workers in the morning, while others flag until after lunch. Keep a record of your self-assessed levels of productivity throughout the day over the course of a week or so and see if you can map out any patterns. Reflecting on this with your manager might lead to trialing a reshuffled schedule, which could be beneficial for both parties. Another similar idea to explore is the famed Pomodoro technique. This productivity cheat code involves choosing a task, dedicating 25 minutes to it alone, and then taking a 5-minute break. After every 4 blocks, a longer 15-30 minute break is taken. Give it a go and see what the Pomodoro technique can do for your productivity. You will now be more familiar with some of the more advanced concepts related to work ethic, such as the value of motivation and its impact on productivity. By leveraging these forces in your lives with the tools and techniques that you will learn throughout this infographic, you can significantly influence your personal work ethic for the better. You have now concluded the second component of the Intermediate Work Ethic Infographic Intermediate Level. We hope that you found some of the information here useful and invite you to try using some of the techniques described in your day-to-day -day life.